In 1946, NASA took the first photos of our beautiful home planet from outer space and took us on a beautiful journey where we started getting images from up there. Almost 20 years later, we got to see the first close-up image from Mars. We spent most of the time exploring our neighborhood. It took us a while until we got a little further, on the edge of our solar system where there's a small world lurking in the dark, scary abyss of space. One scientist found it almost 100 years ago. He was actually looking for Planet X. It's a mysterious celestial body he believed was hiding somewhere on the periphery of the solar system. Instead, he stumbled upon Pluto. It wasn't easy to find, though, considering it's smaller than the Moon. Pluto has a different orbit when you compare it to others from our solar system, more elliptic. That means that even though it's so far, sometimes it gets closer to the Sun than Neptune. So we got the first photos of Pluto in 2015, and then at the end of 2022, NASA shared a pretty cool photo on their Instagram profile where they wanted to show the true colors of our most popular dwarf planet. It was taken at a distance of more than 22,000 miles from it. Sometimes all you need to do is follow your heart, and Pluto kinda took this literally. You see this white thing? It's the heart of Pluto, which is in reality a giant glacier made of methane and nitrogen. Because of its heart, the atmosphere of the dwarf planet is spinning backward. One part of its heart is a deep basin filled with nitrogen ice. When the sun rises over, the ice there heats up. Some of it then becomes gas and goes up into the atmosphere. During the night, that gas cools down and goes back into the basin in the shape of ice again. It's similar to a heart when it's pumping blood into the body, so it's like a heartbeat of Pluto. And because of this unusual heartbeat, winds on the surface blow in the opposite direction to Pluto's spin. The surface of Pluto is covered in ice, but it's not the type of ice we have on Earth. It's a combination of methane, nitrogen, and water. The surface is quite cracked and full of craters. Besides this and other white parts, you can see it's also a little bit brownish-red, yellow, and orange shades. When you get closer, you can see Pluto has incredible mountains, icy dunes, and flat glacial plains extending to its horizon. And what about Wright Mons? It's a volcano 2.5 miles high and 90 miles across. Pluto is small, but it still has its own atmosphere. It holds gases that evaporate from all the ice on the surface. When you combine those gases with sunlight, and considering Pluto is so far away from the sun, you get the sky of a very specific blue haze. Pluto has five satellites. They're just some small ice bodies with irregular shapes. One theory says that these are remains of some gigantic collision that happened a very long time ago. The biggest and most interesting of them all is called Charon. And Pluto has a specific relationship with Charon. They're possibly a dual system. Charon has a mass eight times smaller than Pluto, which is not that much considering it's just a satellite. Both of them have one center of gravity that's located outside of Pluto. So they kind of revolve around that common point and face each other with the same side all the time. And they're only 12,120 miles away from each other, which is 20 times less than the distance between us and our moon. Unfortunately, we can't see much in these photos, so some things remain a mystery for now, like a vast liquid water ocean Scientists believe it might be sloshing under its surface, similar to other bodies in our solar system that might also have hidden oceans below the surface. Titan, Europa, and Enceladus. And when you have a liquid ocean below the surface, there's a great chance the dwarf planet might still be tectonically active. For example, it has many fissures that might happen because of a hidden ocean that's gradually freezing. Water expands as the temperatures go down, and below an icy crust, it pushes and cracks the surface, like a regular ice cube in your freezer would do. NASA took more astonishing images in space in 2022, 
let's remember some of the shots from the first couple of months of the last year. Take a look at this image of the moon above our planet's horizon, taken on January 21st, 2022. Talk about enjoying the view up there, huh? And check this one, where you have one of Jupiter's four biggest moons called Ganymede. It was on February 25th when it cast a shadow on the planet, and they took the image from a distance of 44,000 miles. Then, you have another one taken in March, where the solar orbiter showed us the magnificent outer atmosphere of the Sun. It managed to catch its extreme ultraviolet light. Wow, imagine how powerful it is! InSight Mars Lander took a final selfie on April 24, 2022. To capture such a photo, the arm of the robot has to move a couple of times. Sadly, it was the last pic the robot managed to take. Red Martian dust covered its solar panels so the robot couldn't get enough sunlight. Without solar energy, the robot simply can't operate. Moving on to June 14th, and this image NASA didn't take in space, but it's still cool. It's a full moon in view close to the Artemis 1 mega moon rocket at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. Teams were preparing this rocket for a rehearsal a couple of months before launching. And a few months later, on November 16th, spectators watched its launch from Kennedy Space Center. The NASA spacecraft took this photo 57,000 miles away from Earth. Deep in the heart of our galaxy, unusual things happen. We're not talking about a region where stars slingshot around what at first seems like an empty space. Researchers had theories about a supermassive black hole hiding there, and they believed it could affect the movements of the stars. But until 2022, it was only a theory. However, in May 2022, they managed to capture the first image of this supermassive black hole. Don't worry, I know it seems like it's right next to us when I say it's in our galaxy, but it's 27,000 light years away from Earth. Of course, we can't see it with the naked eye. If we want to put the size of this mysterious black hole into an Earthling's perspective, us trying to see it from the surface of our home planet would be like we're trying to see a donut on the moon. Black holes catch and trap whatever comes close enough to them, including light but they illuminate because of glowing streams of all that matter that fall into them. So, they cast a shadow. The shadow is nearly two and a half times bigger than its event horizon. That's the boundary of a black hole, through which nothing that passes can go back, ever. The Hubble Space Telescope captured some awesome things in 2022. For example, the view of this stunning grand design spiral galaxy that's about 53 million light years away from us. It's a type of spiral galaxy with a specific design. It has these specific spiral arms. Spiral galaxies are common, and they're all across the universe. But you don't get to see those grandly designed spiral galaxies. The arms of the one NASA captured are filled with bright areas. As there's more and more material gas and dust, it's all becoming denser. After a while, stars are born out of all that material in the inner part of these spiral arms. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.